What is perhaps a little bit special about my writing and my teaching is um, that very often I use um, problems and topics from our daily life to explain and to show how important chemistry is in our daily life. I would like to entertain also with chemistry, which is unusual. Basically, it's my experience in my own daily life. If you drink a cup of coffee, um, that's wonderful. But if you think, why is that cup of espresso so delicious? Uh, why does it smell so good? And uh, how do you produce that? What is the science behind a cup of espresso? Um, then I ask myself, and in normal textbooks, you don't find an answer. So you have to do a lot of research, really hard research, and then to reduce all the information on such a level that um, my average reader can follow me. Well, there's a simple saying, I, I write only things I would like to read. And that's the only criteria. Is it interesting? And it doesn't have to always be funny, but interesting, surprising. I mean, that's my, my sort of selection process. Well, my... The main work is research, research and research. Reading a lot, I read a couple of weekly journals, chemistry or natural sciences in general. But in writing an article, I go deeper into the chemical literature and the literature in general, and that takes time. Well, that's difficult to say in days or weeks or hours because I, for many years I collect interesting literature and my archive is uh, pretty um, big. But the final writing takes about two months. I decided to start writing when I realized that I get older. And for my retirement, actually I planned it uh, pretty straightforward. I thought it would be a wonderful idea to continue working in chemistry without having a lab or, and without any financial background, just for fun. And I think writing is a wonderful activity. And so it developed. And at the end, I wrote articles every two months. Uh, now I've reduced it a little bit. Originally I'm an organic chemist or physical organic chemist and a spectroscopist. And as a spectroscopist, I, an MR spectroscopist, I did my postdoc and also a visiting fellowship in California on uh, applying NMR spectrosco spectroscopy to biological or medical um, problems, uh, imaging for instance. And um, I developed together with a company here in Berlin, with Schering Company, uh, I worked on new contrast agents in uh, MRI, magnetic resonance imaging. And uh, that technique is very successful and we did research to new products and uh, basically NMR spectroscopy. I'm an NMR spectroscopist, that's my field, yeah.